Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make this guy. Um, 29 rows across, 28 rows high. Let's just jump right into this. I am going to be using a 6.5 millimeter. That's what I've been using this whole time. I'm going to continue because this is all going to be part of the same blanket for me personally, but you don't have to do the, what you're, whatever with the tapestry. Um, so I'm still going to stick with my rose colored um, base. Um, I've written down the colors for the wreath that I'm using which are basically the colors of the wreath so there's red and then there's dark red so I'm using red and dark red which are these two colors this is a lion brand and the color is cranberry that out of the way and then I'm going to use this craft smart color which is tomato I'm not sure the other colors I'm using, but it, there's a green and a light green. So this is going to be my dark green. And this is a Craft Smart, and it's an ivy. That's well, the color of that. This is also is a Craft Smart, but I don't have a tag. So I'm not sure what the color of that is, but that'll be my, my light green and my dark green. And then, of course, the yellow which is just going to be this lighter color yellow. I don't have a tag for this either. It feels like a Bernat or a Craft Smart. So uh, most of mine is four weight. So five colors. Um, the red and that obviously we're not going to get to until maybe a quarter of the way. Right about here is where the red starts. So get all your colors together and we will start the project so generally I start A B C D E this is I've not lettered my my colors these will be used when I write the pattern I'm going to just turn my light up a little bit they're going to be used when I write the pattern but not necessarily um, when I um, talk the pattern. So when I'm saying it, I'm probably just going to say red or dark red or green, light green. But when it's written, it'll be, it'll be these letters, which I'll put up on the screen just so you don't have to try to remember because there are five of them. So get your base color, make a slip knot. You're going to chain 30 and you're going to do 29 single crochets back up. So that's my 29 stitches. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. So we're going to incorporate color. But we're going to first do 11 single crochets. So make sure you pull this over and you're going to do this first stitch. So do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to go in I'm going to pull up a loop. Since I'm at the back of the project, I'm going to just pull it over and hold it with my thumb. I don't know if you've done other videos with me, so I'm going to treat it like you have not. And I'm going to add my dark green color. I'll just have it labeled as green, not dark green. But I will have the light green labeled as light green. So, with your green, I want you to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, I want you to pull up a loop. 
And I want you to add your light green. Get mine unstuck. So add your light green. And with your light green, I want you to do two single crochets. On your second stitch, I want you to finish it with your green. And with your green, I want you to do two single crochets. And on your second stitch, I want you to finish it with your base color. With your base color, I want you to do 11 single crochets to the end. That's my 11th stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So this is going to be the front of my project. So your next round, round round three, is going to be eight single crochets. So on your eighth stitch, you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to finish it with your green color. So I like to just make sure you keep that all loosey goosey because you're pulling it over quite a ways. With your green color, I want you to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my light green color. With my light green color, I'm going to do two single crochets. On my second one, I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my yellow. So if you need to make this a slip knot, Knock your socks off. With yellow, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm just going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do six single crochets. On my sixth stitch, I'm going to find my base color, which is here, and I'm going to finish that with my base color, and I'm going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round four. You're going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. Make sure everything stays loose. With my dark green color, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish my second stitch with yellow.
with yellow, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my light green color. So you're going to be bringing this all the way across. Just make sure you pull and keep that loose. With your light green color, I want you to do two single crochets. On your second stitch, I want you to finish that with your dark green. We're going to do a, a lot of these back and forth colors. With your dark green, I want you to do one single crochet. So finish that with yellow. I might actually get lost in my pattern while I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's hope not. With yellow, I want you to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. So I want you to finish it with the dark green. With dark green, I want you to do two single crochets. I want you to finish the second one with your light green color. With light green, I want you to do one single crochet. So just pull up a loop and finish that with yellow. With yellow, I want you to do one single crochet. And I want you to finish that with your green. With green, I want you to do two single crochets. So I need you to finish this one with your base color. So my base color is attached way over here, so I really need to make sure that it stays loosey-goosey. And with your base color, I want you to do seven single crochets. This one's a little more complicated because there's a lot of switching. Just remember, when you're switching colors, you do a half stitch. So you're just pulling up a loop to switch the colors. Sometimes all you're doing is pulling up a loop instead of just doing one single crochet. So, round five. You're going to do six single crochets. So on your sixth stitch, I want you to finish that with your dark green color and then do one single crochet. So that one single crochet is basically just pulling up a loop and you're going to finish it with your dark green. Did I say dark green? Light green. I don't know what I said. Um, with your light green, you're going to do one single crochet. So again, you're just pulling up a loop. And you're going to finish that with your yellow. With your yellow, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with dark green. And with dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second one, you're going to finish it with the light green color. <coughs> Excuse me. Just be sure not to pull that too tight. Uh, where was I? Two C's. Uh, one D, one light, light green, which you're fi gonna finish with your yellow. With your yellow, you're gonna do one single crochet, so you're basically gonna pull up a loop, and you're gonna finish it with your dark green.
with your dark green color you're going to do one single crochet so just pull up a loop I know there's a lot of changing in this one but it's really pretty at the end and with your light green sorry I didn't say finish with your light green but with your light green color you're going to do two single crochets so on your second stitch you're going to finish that with yellow With yellow, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with a dark green. Just again, make sure you don't pull that tight. With your dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish it with your base color, which is all the way back here. So you just got to make sure you don't pull it tight. And with your base color, you're going to do six single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round six is going to be five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green. Again, make sure you keep it loose. With my green, I'm going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my light green. Now be very careful you don't start missing skip, uh, skipping stitches here. With your light green you're going to do one single crochet and finish it with your yellow. I don't have much yellow left. With your yellow, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do nine single crochets. That's my ninth stitch. I was going a little bit slower because I'm just making sure I'm getting into every single stitch. So I don't know if I should really use the yellow because I should leave enough to sew in. So I'm just going to add more yellow because I don't want to use what I, what I have right here. Because it is not much. So with my yellow I'm just going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my dark green. My dark green is going to be one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with the light green which is way the heck over here. So just try not to pull that tight. And with my light green I'm going to do three single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round seven is going to be four single crochets. I'm 
on your fourth stitch you're going to finish that with your dark green color with your dark green you're going to do eight single crochets This is my eighth stitch. Now I've weaved in whatever I could at the back. Um, so you're going to finish that eighth stitch with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do five single crochets. You're going to finish that fifth stitch with your dark green. I've been weaving mine. And with your dark green, you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish that with your light green color, which is still way the heck over here. And you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to finish that with your green, your dark green, which I don't have much of, so I'm going to have to get some more. So finish that with your dark green. Pull down on everything. With your dark green I want you to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch. I want you to finish it with your base color and with your base color I want you to do four single crochets chain one turn your work so you're gonna have a gobbledygook back here of just a whole pile of mess as you know I like to pull my yarn out if you want like to use bobbins you can do that but I like to be able to untangle mine at will not have to twist it or anything round eight round eight is going to be three single crochets finish your third stitch with your dark green color so try not to miss the stitch that's behind where you just pulled it across you're gonna do two single crochets and you're gonna finish that with your yellow So when you pull the yellow across again, make sure it's loose. So with your yellow, you're going to do one single crochet. We're not doing a whole lot of yellow in this one. So one single crochet is basically pulling up a loop. You're going to go back to your dark green color. And you're going to do two more single crochets. Just make sure you're not skipping any stitches. On that second one, you can finish it with the light green. With light green you can do one single crochet and then you can finish that with your dark green which is C
with C, you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. From way over there. And I'm going to do four single crochets with my a dark green. I'm going to finish that with my yellow. Again, my yellow is way over here. And I'm going to do one single crochet. So pull up a loop. Finish that with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do three single crochets. sharp so far. Round nine, you're going to do three single crochets. So on your third stitch, you're going to finish that with your dark green. Oops. Pull my green through. With your dark green, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to pull up a loop and finish it with your yellow. With your yellow, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your dark green. get everything out of my way. With your dark green, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your base color. Your base color, you're going to do 11 single crochets. Eleven, so that's my eleventh stitch. I'm going to finish it with my with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish the second stitch with my yellow. I keep grabbing the wrong yellow. With yellow, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with dark green because that seems to be my thing in this row. And I'm going to do one single crochet 
So I'm going to basically just pull up a loop, finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10. We're going to do three single crochets. So you're going to finish that with your dark green color. With your dark green color, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that second stitch with your yellow. With your yellow, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're basically just pulling up a loop and you're going to finish it with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that second stitch with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do 13 single crochets. This is my 13th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. I'm going to do two single crochets, which is good because I don't have much left. And I'm going to finish that with my yellow. With my yellow, I'm going to do one single crochet, which I'm going to finish with more dark green. Dark green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 11, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish up with the green. With the green, you're going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish that with my light green, which I haven't used in a while, so it's way the heck down here. With my light green, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With dark green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that second stitch with my base color. So my base color is the only color that's attached to the roll, in case you're wondering. I have no other color but that attached to the, a roll. So with my base color, to get that out of the way, I'm going to do three single crochets. So you can choose whether you're going to weave in or not here. I'm not going to. I'm going to be adding red. So. 
on your third stitch pull up a loop. This is where you add your dark red. If I can get my mine pulled out. This is where you incorporate your dark red. So with my dark red I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to go back to the base color. So pull up a loop and finish it with your base color. Not much going on yet. With your base color you're going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. So with my dark green, <laughs> make sure I'm pulling everything down to kind of make it sort of nice and snug, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that second stitch with my light green color, which is way over here. So again, loosey goosey. With my light green, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. My base color, I'm going to do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 12. I'm going to do two single crochets. So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my dark green color and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my light green color, which I need to get more of. With my light green color, I'm going to do three single crochets. This is my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. Once I find it. So again, just make sure it's loose. With my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm sorry. Which means I'm just going to pull up a loop. And I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do four single crochets. So it's up to you what you want to weave in here in this moment. 
That's my fourth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my red. With red, I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my dark green color. With dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. Finishing that with my light green. Light green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that second stitch with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do two single crochets. Finishing the second stitch with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So we started with our red in there now, so it's gonna, it already looks sharp to me, really. So this next row, we're going to incorporate the other color of red, the, the, um, the brighter red, not the dark red. So we're going to end up having all the colors going, so it's not going to be that bad. I'm going to poke that down. That's going to get my way. So in case you're not following any of my other videos, the reason I'm not doing anything with the stuff at the back other than tying knots, making sure there's no loose ends and stuff like that, is because I'm building this into a blanket. So once I tuck all this in and do what I do at the end, um, it's I'm, I'm putting another side to it. So round 13 is going to be two single crochets. So on your second stitch, I want you to finish it with your dark green color. There's my dark green. With your dark green, I want you to do two single crochets. So I want you to finish the second stitch with your yellow. With your yellow, you're just going to do one single crochet. So you're going to finish that with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do, I'm going to get situated here. With your base color, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish that with a dark red, which is your B color. Um, take your take your base color with you when you do this. Um, so your next one's going to be one single crochet with your dark red, so your B, but you're going to finish it with your light, your lighter color red, which is your A color. With your lighter color, you're going to do one single crochet, so you're basically just going to pull up a loop, and you're going to finish it with your 
darker color. With your darker color, you're going to do one single crochet, but you're going to finish it with your base color. This is where you need to have about 15 hands. With your base color, I want you to do three single crochets. So that's my third stitch. I want you to finish it with your dark red. And I want you to do one single crochet. Finish it with your base color. With your base color, I want you to do five single crochets. Lovely knot in my yarn. Thankfully, it's at the back. So I'm going to finish my fifth one with my dark green. Now, I don't really have a whole lot left. So I'm not even going to attempt to use it because I only got a little bit. So I'm just going to add some more. So finish that with your dark green. And you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish your second one with yellow, which is way over here. With yellow, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with the dark green. With dark green, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with light green. It's madness, I tell you. Where's my light green? Oh, my light green's way over here. With your light green, I want you to do one single crochet. This is a lot of work, I admit. Um, after you've pulled up your loop, finish it with your... And finish it with your base color. And do two single crochets. Chain one. And turn it work. Round 14. It's going to be two single crochets. So, finish that second one with your light green. So much crap back here, I can't even find the light green. There it is. So finish that with your light green. With your light green, I want you to do one single crochet. This is going to get harder and harder not to miss stitches, so pull up a loop and finish that with your yellow. With your yellow, I want you to do three single crochets. This is my third stitch. I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So you should be literally at that last green from the row before. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do four single crochets. That's my fourth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark red. 
with the dark red I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my light red. With my light red I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to pull that over, finish that with my dark red. And my dark red, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do two single crochets. On my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with my dark red. With my dark red, I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my light red, which is my A. With A, I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my B, which is dark red, and I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color, with my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my dark green. And with my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to pull up a loop, I'm going to finish it with my yellow. I don't have enough yellow, so I'm going to bring in some more. With my yellow, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my dark green. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 15. This goes to round 28. You're going to do two single crochets. So on the second stitch, you're going to finish that with your dark green. With your green, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that second stitch with your yellow, which I'm apparently still attached to. So finish that with your yellow. Pull everything down. With your yellow you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish that with your dark green. With your dark green You're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish your second one with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. Oops, sorry. On the second stitch, you're going to finish it with your dark red. With your dark red, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your light red, so your A color. With your A color, you're going to do three single crochets. So 
that'll bring you to the last red stitch here. And you're going to finish that with your B, which is dark red. With B, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with your base color. Your base color, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with B, your dark red. With your dark red, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with your A color, which is light red. With your A, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your B, which is dark red. With dark red, you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to finish that with your base color. You're going to do three single crochets with your base. And on the third stitch, you're going to finish it with your green. So with your green, you're going to do two single crochets. On your second one, you're going to finish it with your yellow. With your yellow, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish it with your dark green, which is your C. My yellow. Just make sure you're pulling everything down. With C, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish that with your light green. Where's my light green? Oh, my light green's over here. My light green's already over here. So that's my light green. You're going to do one single crochet with your light green. You're going to finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 16. Round 16. It's going to be two single crochets. So, you're going to finish that with your C color, which is dark green. Or whatever color you chose. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the ones I'm using. With your C color, your dark green, you're going to do two single crochets. On your second stitch, you're going to finish it with your light green color. With your light green, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're basically pulling up a loop. You're going to finish it with your C, your dark green, and you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish your second one with your base color, and with your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. So on your second one, you're going to finish it with your dark red, which is B. With your B, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to finish that with your A, which is light red. 
with your A you're going to do three single crochets. So you're going to finish that third stitch with your dark red, your B, and you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish this with your base color and you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that one single crochet with your dark red, so your B, where you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your light red, which is your A, and you're going to do four single crochets with A. That's my fourth one. You're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your green. With your green, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to finish that with your light green, which is D. With D, you're going to do three single crochets. That's my third one. I'm going to finish with my dark green color, which is C. With C, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that one with my base color. And I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So round 17, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do two single crochets. That's number two. I'm going to finish that with my light green. With my light green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that one with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that now with my red. Now I don't, I only ha have a little bit of red left, so I'm going to start a whole new red. I'm going to finish that stitch with my red. And with red, I'm going to do four A's. This is number four. I'm going to finish that with my dark red. And with my dark red, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm basically putting it in the same space as the dark red from the previous row. And I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my dark red, which I don't have much left going on, but I think I have enough for one more stitch. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my A, which is light red. With A, I'm going to do three single crochets. 
So on your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. So the first one's going to go into this dark red. So on your second stitch, you're going to finish it with your dark green. With your green, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish the second stitch with your light green. With your light green, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish that with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do one single crochet. So pull up a loop. You're going to finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 18. We're going to do three single crochets. So on your third stitch, you're going to finish that with your dark green. With your dark green, you're going to do one single crochet. Pull everything down, keep it nice and tight. And do my, oh my gosh my one single crochet. My little thingy wants to keep boinging up. I gotta add more light green too, so finish that stitch with your light green. And with your light green, I want you to do one single crochet. <laughs> And you're going to finish that stitch with your yellow. Do I even have a yellow still attached? Oh, I do. So finish that one with your yellow. And with yellow, I want you to do one single crochet. And I want you to finish that with your green, your C, with your C, I want you to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch, and I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my light red, my A color. And with A, I'm going to do four single crochets. So your fourth one should be in your one base color stitch from the previous row. I'm going to finish that fourth stitch with my dark red, which i got to add some more of that too. I depleted all my sources in the last round. So with your dark red, I want you to do one single crochet. And of course you're going to finish it with your light red. And with your light red, your A, you're going to do three single crochets. On your third stitch, you're going to finish it with your base color. And you're going to do one single crochet, finishing that with your dark green, your C color. With your C, you're going to do one single crochet, finishing that with your light green. 
which is your D color. With D, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish the second stitch with your E, which is your light or your yellow color. And you're going to do one single crochet. So pull up a loop and finish that with your dark green, which is your C. You're going to do two single crochets. With your C, you're going to finish the second one with your base color. And you're going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. We're on round 19. You're going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. You're going to finish it with the dark green color. With dark green, you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that with your yellow. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where my yellow is. Such a mess. And with your yellow, you're going to do three single crochets. This is my third stitch. I'm going to finish with my dark green, which is my C. With my C, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my A. So my red. So with my red, my A, I'm going to do seven single crochets. That's number seven. I'm going to finish with my dark red. Dark red. With my dark red, my B, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish that with my light red my A and I'm going to do one single crochet. So pull up a loop and you can finish that with your yellow. With yellow you can do three single crochets. On your third stitch you're going to end it with your green color. With green, you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish that with your base color. With your base color, you're going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 20, you're going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my yellow. No, oh, I don't have yellow. So I'm going to add some yellow. 
finish my stitch. With my yellow, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm just going to pull up a loop. I'm going to finish that with my dark green, which is my C. With my C, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my A, which is light red. With my A, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my B, which is my dark red. And I'm going to do three single crochets. Just make sure you're not missing any stitches here. It's super easy to do. This is my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my light red. And I'm going to do one single crochet with my A. I'm going to finish that one single crochet with my B. And I'm going to do one single crochet. <laughs> and I'm going to finish that with my A. And I'm going to do three single crochets with my A. This is my third stitch. Then I'm going to finish with my B. Now I'm not going to be able to come back to my A because it's too short. So I'll have to add more. With my B, I'm going to do three single crochets. So I'm going to finish that with my A. With my A, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my dark green. So I'm going to pull my green over. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that one single crochet with my yellow. And I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm, or my C, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm basically just pulling up a loop. And I'm going to finish it with my base color. And I'm going to do four single crochets to the end. chain one. So before we continue, this is of course where I want to, you know, tie my knots, make sure that all my colors are going to be safe. Every round just to keep up on it so I don't have to do it at the end of the project. Round round 21. Oh yeah, I gotta pull out some red. And I'm gonna pull out a little bit of yellow. I don't think I need a whole lot of yellow from this point on. So, we're gonna do five single crochets. This is going to be my fifth stitch, so in that dark green, under or on the dark green stitch, I'm going to finish it with dark green. <laughs> with my C, dark green, I'm going to do two single crochets. So on my second stitch, I'm going to finish it with the red A. So the lighter red. And with red, I'm going to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark red. That I don't have much left of, apparently. So I'm going to finish that with my dark red. 
And I am with my dark red, I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my light red. With my light red, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my dark green. I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish. My battery died. So, um, I'm on my two C's. I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. We are just about finished. Chain one. Very pretty, isn't it? Turn your work. So we're on round 22. And we're going to do six single crochets with our base color. This is six. I'm going to finish that with my dark green. With my dark green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So following this dark green from the previous row, I'm going to finish that stitch with my light red, which is my A color. With my A, I'm going to do six single crochets. This is my sixth one since I had to do all that messing around, but I ran out of red, so this is my sixth one and I need to finish that with dark red, which I don't have. Well, I do. I've got this little bit, but it's not really enough. So I'm just going to add some more dark red, which is my B color, and I'm going to do three single crochets. So that's my third stitch. So that's my third stitch. I'm going to finish with my light red. So my A. And with A, I'm going to do six single crochets. So you should end your sixth one off on the sixth one from the previous row. And you're going to finish that with your light green color. With light green you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to finish that with your base color which I've got all jacked up here. And with your base color, you're going to do six single crochets. So one of them is going to be on this <coughs> green stitch from the previous row. We're coming in to make the wreath round. So chain one, turn your work. We're coming in now. Just about done. So 
so much to do at the back already. So, round 23, six single crochets with your base color. This is my sixth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my <coughs> dark green, which I don't have a whole lot left of. And I'm going to do two single crochets. Yeah. Very poorly, do two single crochets. I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my A color. This is my fifth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my dark red. With my dark red, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish that with my light red. With my light red, my A, I'm going to do five single crochets. That's my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green once I add my green. With green, I'm going to do two single crochets. And on my second one, I'm going to finish it with my base color. really loosely and with my base color I'm going to do six single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 24 is going to be seven single crochets with your base color. This is number seven. I'm going to finish that with my A color, so my light red. With my light red, I'm going to do six single crochets. <clears throat> that is my sixth stitch that I'm going to finish with my dark red. And with my dark red, I'm going to do three single crochets. So you're just following along what you did last time on your third stitch. You're going to finish it with your A color and do five single crochets. You're going to finish that last stitch with your base. You're going to finish that last stitch with your base color. And you're going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 25 is going to be eight single crochets with your base color. With 
That's my eighth. I'm going to finish that with my A, which is my light red. With my light red, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. And I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red, I'm going to do six single crochets. my final stitch, I'm going to change to my base color. And I'm going to do seven single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn my work. Round 26. I'm pretty sure, let me just check, yeah. So I'm done with the green. You can cut your green off. Done with the yellow and the other green. And I am done with the dark red, I'm pretty sure. Let me check, yep. Yeah. It's just going to be the light red and the um, base color from here. Round 26 is going to be seven single crochets with your base color. This is your seventh stitch, so I am going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. That's my fifth stitch that I'm going to finish with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets. Why am my camera shutting off an awful lot? Five single crochets with my base color. This is my fifth stitch, which I'm going to finish with my red. And with my red, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. And I'm going to finish with my base color. And I'm going to do seven single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. So pretty. Last row of color, and then the last, the last, last row will be just the uh, base color. Because there's so many colors, this is definitely going to need to get blocked. We're going to do eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to 
going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm just going to bring my base color along with me. That is my third A. I'm going to finish with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do seven single crochets. So I'm just weaving in the red because it's just easier that way. That is my seventh single crochet. I'm just stuck on something. I'm going to finish that with my red. My red, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base. And my base color, I'm going to do eight single crochets to finish the row. That's my eighth stitch. You're going to chain one and turn your work. So, you can cut your red off. And your last row is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 29 stitches. So I'm all done my 29th row. You can just fasten off. There we go, all done. So this will just block dry overnight and it'll be another panel to our Christmas blanket. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.